And this episode it has tuned, we turn it into a real NASCAR. And here's the proof. Okay guys, welcome back. Sorry I've been slack. I've actually been away for about uh, 10 nights. I did a big tour of New South Wales. For those of you follow, who follow me on Instagram might have seen some of the stories and stuff. I just did it because we're kind of stuck in the state at the minute. Just did a big lap because I've got a couple of weeks off work. Um, so while I was out, I picked up this. So this is to do with the whole NASCAR theme. So this is actually off a BMW E30, it's like an m -Tech. Right, just a fiberglass copy. So the idea is to have that for uh, the lower bumper section, which will stay mounted to the chassis and the body will be cut around it to come and sit down on top. So obviously it's way too wide. I'm just sort of sit it there like that. Uh, way too wide. So I've got to cut a section out of the center. Um, I think first I'll remove this whole rear lip thing, like um, split or whatever it's called. And then I might cut this section out first and then uh, cut down here all the way through, down there all the way through, and then figure out how much I've got to take out. Then I'll recut this over here to fit that center section. Otherwise, if I just leave the center as it is, it's just going to cut out most of the holes. So I still want to leave as much airflow to be able to come through as possible. So that's the idea. I don't know how high. I'll, I'll probably sit at about 100 mil off the ground and then figure out yeah, where it's going to sort of fit around here. Like that. We'll get it reasonably close anyway. That body will get cut across there, which will drop down on top. Um, it gives us a bit of room for stuff in front there. And just will I'll throw up some photos uh, now of the um, Dale truck, sort of what I'm going to try and copy. And you see the bump is sort of pretty similar. So yeah, that's the idea. I'll um, get the grinder going and start cutting. Okay, so I'm no fiberglass expert, but I haven't got anything. So this is the front end. Essentially, what I've done is just to cut that out of the centre of it. Uh, then you can see, so I split it down the centre and I left this in one piece, so I put that back in there. So that's pretty much what it's, it's going to look like. Uh, that's the splitter on the EDM that was on the bottom, so you can see how much it's been shortened by. But I screwed it all back together just to make sure she's all good. There's a heap of other cracks and stuff in it that uh, I'm going to have to repair at the back, so I've just ground it all back and just got myself a fiberglass kit just gonna fiberglass it all from the back and um yeah i'll give it one go i may need to give it another go afterwards and just bog it all from the front trim that front splitter and we should have a semi-close nascar front end sort of thing for the mini so next step fiberglass Messy job, but there we go. What an expert, eh? <laughs> so that corner's been patched up uh, all around there. So the idea is just to get the air out of it. I'm just by sort of rolling it and tapping it and stuff. So I've still got some left over. I'll let that set and see how it looks after it's all dry. New BMW E30 M Tech front end to suit a Mini. Alright, so as you can tell, I just threw a quick bit of black on the bumper. Uh, I did that because I just had to get a few photos. Street Machine's going to do a few um, photos and a little article on it, on the build process. So, um, yeah, next steps to mount this front end. So I've I've just cut this bar here, which will sort of sit over there. That's going to get screwed down to that splitter. 
and then welding some flat plate under there with like some spikes coming out of it and then welding some tubes under there which that'll slide in there to sort of lock it in uh, this morning I went about adding this bar across there and also up inside there so yeah that bar is a big support bar that goes right through there and I just trimmed all these back a bit so I'm going to put some little diagonals in here just to triangulate that a little bit um, yeah I just want to get this bumper mounted it's going to allow me to figure out the line here to cut this so it fits down and meets up with it um, yeah just really want to get the body sorted so that, that way I can get the take the body off, sort of finish the body work on it, just a little bit of bog and stuff, and then get that wrapped while I um, finish off the rest of everything, which is lots to do, as you can see. So I made a little mount for the rear of the transmission there, uh, re-mounted all these actuators out much wider this time, changed all that. I've made my little cover here for the rear, just put a slight bow in it to um, aid the sort of water coming off it. Uh, I'm going to cut some perspex for the rear there, do a fixed centre panel, and then some little supports, like little steel strap supports that go there, just to tie everything together a bit as well. I'll end up probably doing a steel support down the centre there, sort of NASCAR style. So. Yeah, we're slowly getting there. I put the wastegates on, so you can see there, just tack that into the little J-pipe thing. And on this side, to get it sort of semi-symmetrical, I had to just tack it into the exhaust housing there. So, I'll pull that all apart, take that exhaust housing off the cartridge, and then heat it up in the oven and, and weld it. But, bad news is, it's weld up. I scored this bottle Oh, it sort of fell off the back of a truck a while ago, so I haven't been paying any rental or anything. But look at this now. It's about half PSI pressure in it, so it's now come to the time where I'm going to have to go and buy my own bottle. Not as big as that one, but I think that's another 500 bucks or something initially just to get that bottle. Wish I knew a way to do it on the Dodge, but. Currently don't, so um, yeah, next steps to sort of screw this into here and um, weld a couple little bits of tube on there. Like I said weld the flat bar and some um, bolts or something coming off the front there, and bits of rod, and start sliding it on. Then I'll um, probably tie the front of the top of the bumper into there as well, just so it's sort of nice and um, supported. Mm -hmm. The rest is all starting to get pretty tight and solid. 90% of the, or 10% of the work, the last 10% of the work takes 90% of the time. Alright, she's mounted. Oh, the very start to it anyway. And look at that. Got plenty of clearance underneath the splitter there. That's just tacked on there. I've got that little one there and that little one there. And then I've got these bits here like this. Uh, I need to just weld a little bit off here to brace it to stop it sort of rocking side to side. And then um, just drill these and sort of just file and tape them a little bit just so it slides on there easily. But yeah, that slides on there. It's looking good, it's on at the right height. The um, chassis rails just sit on there. You can see there it's just actually been touching a little bit. So I might just have to grind just there's a little lip there. Just have to grind that off but yeah once I fully weld that that's um it's looking good. Alright so sometimes you gotta make steps that are unnecessary but kind of feel like big ones that help you feel like you're making progress so just went and got some aluminium sheet so I've got some 1.6 mil I'm going to use for the um, rear like, ute cover 
and then the tailgate and some two mil I'm going to use for all that firewall, uh, floor, that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, the two mil sheet will be going in here. And I'm going to run some like 20 by 20 or something all in between there and sort of just frame it out a little bit to, to make it solid. So that'll get cut the gunk in there. And then I've got some sheet that'll go over the top of that. And I've just tacked this bar in here and I'm just in the process of welding up these three bars over there which will go one, two, three and then I'll sheet some aluminium down over the back. So just to see I put those cuts just in there. Just to sort of match the curve of that targo there. So I'm not gonna make it opening or anything because this whole thing pulls off anyway. But yeah, I'll just get them tacked and then weld them in along here. And then I guess I can start measuring up some sheet and hot rivet it on. So yeah, like I said, I just need to do something, so much work and not a lot seems to be happening. So if I can do that, at least it kind of it looks like you're doing something when you've achieved something and then, then I can get back into the fitness stuff. So let's go. All right, so I've just tacked up this back bit. I'll put that bar across there and then three across there. So I've got a cut sheet of alloy that'll go up there. And I'm gonna cut the um, top bit. 1200 actually sort of comes to about there. So I'm gonna just leave it 1200 wide. And I'm gonna actually have it come and overlap here just a little bit at the back because I've got to fold up a little wing and then brace it back to there. So um, yeah, that'll be the next step. The front bars sort of sitting there. I've got to figure out a brace to the top of it. I'm not sure what to do there yet. May even just brace it to the radiator there and then the hoses and that will sort of hold it together. Uh, now I've got to sort out some side skirts for it just so that, that that line from that front bar carries on there. And also figure out how it's all gonna work with body lifting up and down and stuff. So I may end up getting a bit of metal bent up but it comes out like that off the chassis and then have something like this. So when that comes down and drops and meets together because sort of gotta keep it relatively um, well sealed off like sort of a proper car if you got fire or smoke and that sort of stuff but obviously it's going to be full of smoke anyway but just want to stop you know, try and protect myself a little bit so um, yeah unfortunately my plasma torch is shoot itself I haven't got one at the minute so I'm just going to have to use the little cut off wheel so I'll get them cut get them sort of roughly pop riveted on there and um, it might kind of look like a real car again, we'll see. So I've got one bit cut and there's actually a bit of a curve to this side. I'm going to tidy that up just a little bit more. But I've just put a couple of temporary pop rivets in there. But it's just the easiest way to try and trim this is to get it in there, get it square and then mark that side out and cut up all that's on there. Um, that'll sort of take care of the curve and stuff in there. And you can see there. I don't know if you can tell how much of a curve that's got in it. but. That should be pretty close. So I'll get this one done first, then I can do the top. Alright, here's poor man's pan break. So I just set this on here, left that lip on there. I've just got a nice big thick 12 mm of steel. 12 mil, sorry. It's close enough that I reckon I can unbolt it now and just see how it goes.
we go. car all right so it's in launch mode at the minute so i decided with finishing off that back back wheels are good it's time to just finish painting the front wheels and get the stickers made up for them so they all match and stuff so i had a bit of a experiment with this rim here it's, it's really hard to see with this lot but it was the commodore chaser wheel and it had here hull 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 I cut between them all just to see whether it would match the. Let's see the just to see whether it would match the rear wheels better, and it kind of does, but it still, at the end of the day, it still looks like a, a cut up chaser rim. So, so I'm just going to stick with the standard chaser rims for now. I can always cut them later, maybe. Um, so I've just been scotch briding and sanding these two and I'm just going to rattle can them with some gloss black and then I'll probably do some rear over the top and this is my little trick for painting rims it's just a bit of stiff cardboard cut to sort of the right shape like that and just hold it like that and just do a bit of design so it's going down and taking the tires off and stuff so yep let's get that done Okay, those are some shiny, shiny wheels. Let's go off and see Ricky, Rickle Signs. That's the two fucking Australians for next to be in India, mate. <laughs> One's an X-Race car. Come third place last year. Fucking bullshit! Good, good job. <laughs> Fuck me dead. Just want to get the concentration. Look how Ryan's here fucking doing that in the background going. This is a professional operation, yeah. mate. Cut two. <laughs> Princess fucking burping. Legit one. Oh, scratch it. Fuck, mate. It's a show car. Fuck, sorry. <laughs> Same time, didn't I? <laughs> okay, so here we go. Lucky I've got mates that are handy with signs and stickers and stuff. So there's the rims with the old Bassett copy stuff. Um, and here's these tyre tire stencils. So I'll give this a go. If you peel one off, stick it on there. I've just got some yellow dye mark spray paint up this is like for roads and timber and everything i just thought i want to get the most multi-purpose paint that'll just stick to anything Let's see how it goes so if it doesn't work i was cleaned up with some thinners but yeah we just need that need that look and i thought i'll get some custom test tuned ones made so here we go
going to be a little bit of bleed out on the rough bits. But Light coats. Okay, so do I be really patient and wait for it to dry? Unlikely. Let's see what happens when I pull this off. Do. So I've just been to see my mate Ricky at Regal Signs. These are the original rear rims. Got in to make up some stickers to paint up the front ones to copy what we've got going on at the back. Uh, he made up some stencils for me for the test tune. May need to get some bigger ones for the rear, so I just painted that with some yellow. Sometimes you just need to do these little jobs that just make a huge difference to the look of things. Uh, on the rear wing. It's all locked up, tailgate. So, yeah, it's looking cool. It's starting to look like a real thing now. So I'm stoked. <laughs> 